This is the CM15 from Vertheim of Austria. Now, this safe is getting increasingly popular with insurers and higher-end clients, and I'm going to explain why in a second. First off, this is a grade 3 safe. So, for a grade 3 safe, this is actually very compact, and most people find they can neatly fit it into their home, no matter where they live. Now, the safe is only 595 millimeters high, 575 millimeters wide and 495 millimeters deep. It weighs 280 kilos, so it's a very, very substantial safe. And of course, then it's anchored to 50 kilonewtons, which is 5.08 tons. So you're really faced with an immovable object for most circumstances. Now, I just want to explain that this safe is currently on top of a plinth. This is your safe. This is a plinth. The plinth is actually grade three. So if you had a client with mobility issues, you can get a certified plint, grade three. It's bolted to the floor or to the floor on the wall, and then the safe is bolted to it. So you still have a certified grade three installation at 50 kilonewtons. Now the lock on the front is the Sergeant Greenleaf Titan direct drive lock. This lock is EMP resistant, which is a very nice feature. It's used by a lot of uh, different military services and um, it's also duress module compatible that means that we can hook it up to a duress module and do things like add a duress signal have remote control so you can disable the lock from your alarm system all these different types of features now i'll just open the safe here using the default code you can see i turned the keypad there it's a direct drive lock turn the handle and now you can see inside the safe now the first thing you'll probably notice straight away is the size of these bolts. I mean, these are monstrous. They're huge, big stainless steel bolts. They run all the way back into the safe. At the top here, we have a monstrous rebate. That rebate locks behind the door frame. So if there was any way you could mechanically try and force the door, it's, it's literally impossible, okay? Now the top of the door, we have alarm cutouts. These are four contacts, alarm contacts. If you wanted to monitor the door being opened and closed, you can do that through the system. But I also wanna show you something else. And this is a fairly unique feature with Vertime. If you look into the hinge here, you can see a very, very thin metal cable. And if you look back into the body, you can see the cable goes through a hole, it goes down into the body and comes out through the ceiling. And you may be able to see at the back there's another hole. Now that's a draw cable. That cable goes into the door of the safe and inside the door of the safe there are mounts for seismic sensors, for various other electronic devices, including the duress module I had mentioned. And you can use that cable to pull an alarm cable through from the door, through the hinge and out the back of the safe. Now the thing about using an alarm cable is it can't be interfered with there's a lot of um, alarm devices that are wireless, which are pretty useless, because you can block wireless devices. You can't block a physical cable, okay? Now that channel there, the hole in the, and the hole in the ceiling, is VDS certified. That means that the cable run all the way through has been certified up to grade three as being burglary resistant. So the cable sits in the hinge, and as you close the door, it sits neatly into the door. So there's no need for an ugly door loop or anything like that. Now, this is very, very popular safe as well for jewelry, and you can get wooden inserts and drawers and all that kind of thing inside. So really, it's a very neat, compact safe, but my God, it's tough. It's incredibly well built, being Austrian, and it's got that VDS certified alarm channel with no big, ugly door loop. Now, you can see on the inside of the door, it's certified by VDS, grade three. Below there, you can see it's certified by ECBS, but this safe also comes certified by CNPP in France, which makes this the most highly certified grade three safe in Europe. Now to close the door, I'm just gonna retract the bolts, close it over, turn the handle, and now I turn the keypad, and you get that beep, and that tells you the safe is locked up.